Good afternoon, and here we are. We are live, hurrah, live with Lindsay, Lindsay from Liberi Therapies. I can't say it, but uh, is that right? Liberi? Liberi? Liberi Therapies. Therapies. Um, whom I've known for about a year and a bit, I suppose, oh, through yeah. Karen and boot camp and things like that. So, um, which is, we've just been having a chat about about how fantastic that has been for for us and, and memories. Um, but that's not what we're here for, about today. We're here to learn more about Lindsay and uh, and her business and her journey and what she does and and uh, how she can help us and all those kind of good and lovely things, which is what we do. For those of you who are newer to the group, something we do about once a month. Um, if you if you join if you join Lindsay's group, <laughs> you'll be doing it a bit more often than that. <laughs> um, but we do it once a month, and uh, we just get to know our member a bit better as part of our Llama Rama Social Friday. And don't ask where the whole Llama thing came from, but uh, I'm glad you said that, because I was going to say. I don't understand it. But... Right. Okay. So I will. I will tell the lava story again just before we get started. And yes, so, so um, in Karen Yates's um, Ideas into Action Club, uh, we were doing the Facebook challenge. Oh no, no, the customer avatar challenge. The customer avatar challenge because it's when I joined the group, so it was within there, and we were challenged to do a Facebook Live as part of, as our exercise of the day. And I was sitting there and I was doing this right with my pen. And it happened, it isn't, this is a pink pen. It happened to be my llama pen. And so he was kind of going backwards and forwards across the screen. <laughs> and it just kind of took off from there. And then people oh, people it. buy me llamas, people make <laughs> me llamas. Anyway. And oh, so it excellent. just became Llama Rama Friday because why not? Why not? That's anyway. Wonderful. This right. is about you. So tell us all about you and your business. And uh, so how, how long have you been going? Well, Liberty Therapies itself have been going for about, oh, officially four or five years. Um, but in a sense of me doing what it is that I do, which I'll explain in a minute, it's been like for years, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, years and years and years. And, and I've, I've done, I mean, I am a qualified um, clinical hypnotherapist. Um, I do EFT, which is tapping. Mm -hmm. I do mindfulness. I do Reiki. I do all da, 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 everything. And I guess I started my journey when I was 17. And um, I, I was at school. I hated school. Loads of the passion. And I didn't know what I was going to be doing after school. And um, my parents said, no, nope, you've got to, you've got to get qualifications. Mm. There's no way I've got qualifications, but come on, you know, I, I was the person <laughs> on the green corridor because I was talking, you know, I, I've never stopped. Um, and <laughs> so it's five, I, it's five o'clock now, we're still going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll try and get really quickly into this, but this is so unlike me, you know, yeah. and my, my, my parents, um, my dad got me a job with um, a friend of his, a travel agent, and he said, you're going to go and do that. So off I went for a week. Well, I mean, the guy there, I'm 17, the guy <laughs> wanted me to go to London, you know, to, to suss out a hotel. Um, and that was it. I thought, no, I can't do that. So exactly. So um, I tracked it in. I went back. I said to my dad, um, you know, I, I can't work there. I, at the time, I couldn't tell him what it was about. And he said, no, 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 you've got to go back. Went back. He, the guy said, no, you've got to, you know, you're finished. So I saw this advert in our local paper for nursing. And I thought, oh, that'll do. So I went in. Yeah, well, that was exactly it. Because I had no idea what yeah, I wanted yeah, to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I sat the exam. I didn't tell my parents. I sat the little entry exam. And then I went home and I said to them, well, Ronald K won't take me back in the travel agency, but I'm going to be a nurse. <laughs> and that's how it started. You know, I've gone from that to yoga teacher to teaching aerobics to and just the whole lot. So really from when I was 17, I have worked with people hmm. and, and love working with people. Hmm. I enjoy seeing how they progress and you know my mission if you want to call it that right now is to show everybody that we don't need to live by default and and by that Ooh, i mean yeah you know we, we don't need to our I've thoughts like are coming yeah all oh, right <laughs> i'm surprised i've not said that to you before at, at karen's boot camps because i'm <laughs> constantly 
out there. Mm. Because w when you look by default, you are waking up in the morning and thinking, mm. oh, I've got to go and do this. I've got to go and do that. Um, I've got to speak to such a person and that. And it's like, you know, step back and say, do I really want to do that? And a little inner voice will go, no, because nine times out of ten, you don't. Mm. But what it is, it is your mind telling you, literally telling you what to do and telling you what to do. And it's used to, um, it knows or it feels it knows that what you do in your day is going to keep you safe. And that can be anything. And if you're in the world of, of, of energy, if you're in the world of um, psychoanalysts and, and the rest, you will understand that it is all to do with subconscious mind. Mm. That is a part of it. You know, we are we are um, prone. We have to follow what our subconscious mind says to us. But in this day and age, we know we don't need to. We can change those thoughts so we don't live by being controlled and to do that um first of all you've got to be aware that you are doing something that you might not want to do mm. and Kat tell me something that, that you do that you don't want to do um not much these days <laughs> there's, a, there's not much there's not much that I do now I've even tried to think of something that I used to do in the past but I suppose um, and anybody who's uh, what what I was thinking when you were saying that is that feeling that you used to get when you were employed on a Sunday night when you when you thought oh I've I've got to I've got to get up and go to work and do a week's work where now sometimes I kind of think oh the alarm's going to be going off early tomorrow morning but but I don't have the same inner oh you know but where you're being driven by having to um, you know work to somebody else's timetable and all that kind of thing but, absolutely yeah. absolutely you, you know you, you've hit it there mm. in that you don't we don't need to do that um i mean luckily a lot of people are quite happy mm. getting up and going and doing the stuff otherwise we would not have anybody in our shops Yes, everybody be way off doing their own I know. things. <laughs> very, very shortly after I set up my own business, I had to go and do a training course, and I went to a, a place down south, and it was a massive building where people were all coming in with their, with their, you know, their lanyard and touching in and going in, you know. Oh. So, you know, at, at ten to nine, the place was heaving with people coming and going, all the rest of it. And I just thought, oh, I've left all that behind. Oh, that's really rather nice. But it did occur to me, I remember thinking, but we need people who are still going to do that because we can't all be entrepreneurs. It's just, you know, it's not, it's yeah. not possible. And we can't all do that. But, uh, and, and there are people who like that security. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Um, but, you know, having said all that, we do have to change our, our mind thinking because, um there's a lot of things going automated mm -hmm. like the banks for example mm -hmm. there's a lot i mean all around mm -hmm. me and, and all around the little villages and towns they're closing the banks and because a lot of us are going online to do our mm -hmm. work so those people that were working in those banks now have to find other work now maybe some of them in their haven't been happy getting up first thing in the morning and going off and having to do what they have to do. And it's really good. I mean, we've all been, you, Kat, and myself, have mm. all been in situations where we've been forced to change our thinking. Mm. And you can either fall by the wayside or you can get up and just keep trucking. Maybe after a little while of sitting in the corner and going, oh, my God, you know, because you know, we're human. Yeah. Um, but that's, you know, that's the gist of it, that um, we don't need to by default. And, and one way that, of course, it doesn't happen overnight that you can change. It doesn't. But one thing that I always say to people, that if they are in a situation, you know, that horrible feeling that you had on Sunday night, mm. and that, that feeling in there is your body um, releasing various chemicals, but it's, it does that because it's used to it you are used to it so when you do feel a sense like that this this horrible dread a little trick is 
to start thinking about something else straight away. Don't home in on that feeling because the more you home in on that feeling, it just gets worse and worse and worse. But if you have, let's let's go back to, to waking up um, to Sunday night and you're thinking about it. If anybody's in that situation, what you would do is if you can't get outside, mm. um, that's my first thing, get outside. Mm. Even if it's into your, your, you know, if you've got a garden or um, cement, doesn't matter what it is. And if you can take your shoes off, so your feet are touching the bare earth, because literally the energies from the earth draw out negative energies out of your body. If you can do that, fabulous. If you can stamp as well, like the seagulls do, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> you often see me in my garden doing this. God knows what the neighbors think, but I've given up thinking. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I've not tried that. I've got to try that next time. I'm, yes. I'm Stamping like a seagull, love it. Stamping like a seagull, yeah. Um, and at the same time, you can, because I do um, EFT, which is emotional freedom technique. Which is I was I was just about to ask you about EFT okay. because I only have a very, very superficial knowledge of it. So is it appropriate for you to dive into that now or do you want oh, to? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, All right, yeah, go for it, go for it. Because yeah. um, yeah. I think it's, it's something potentially that, that people who haven't come across it before are going to be really interested in. Yeah, um, EFT is emotional freedom technique. That's yep. that's the, the whole um, name of it. But I mean, and literally, it is it is a technique that can change your emotions. A lot of people might know it as tapping because mm -hmm. it literally mm -hmm. is tapping with your fingers, yep. and it is like acupuncture without needles. Because what we're doing, we're tapping on the ends of meridians. And meridians are a, um, an energetic system in the body that, um, that, that um, they're like roads. They're like your, your blood, where your, blood, your, your cardiovascular system moves the blood around. That's a physical, but mm -hmm. the meridians are energetic. So why don't we just have a little, a little, little thing? Ooh, good. Talk. I was hoping, I was hoping you're going to say that because I have yeah. tried it once a long, long time ago. And but, but yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do is to just think of something. The first thing that comes into your head, um, in a situation that you'd like to change or, or anything, just the first thing that comes into your head. You don't need to tell me. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to think about in your body where you feel that. Can you? You don't need to tell me anything. You can just say yes or no. Where you can yes. feel, you feel yeah. that, right. Okay, so now what you're doing, you've honed in on that. So what's happening now in your brain, there's all these little neurons firing up. So we're going to change that energetic system. So begin by just taking one hand, doesn't matter which hand, and then the fingers of the other hand. What we're going to be doing is, get into the camera, is just tapping, <laughs> literally tapping. Uh -huh, that's it. And it's good to tap with the actual pad of the fingers because mm -hmm. there's so right many there. nerves in there. And you just tap. Mm. Yeah, can you feel that? Mm. And sometimes when you do it straight away, you can actually feel a sensation in your body just doing that almost immediately. So we'll just very quickly um, do a round just to show you what EFT or tapping is about. And we have three statements that we say at the beginning and you repeat after me um, what I say you don't need to think about them just repeat them so I'm going to start with even though I am I, no, start again even though I have these feelings even though repeat. I have these feelings these feelings in my body these feelings in my body these feelings that don't feel good these feelings that don't feel good I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm going to do that again. So even though. Even though. I can feel these feelings. I can feel these feelings. They're in my body. They're in my body. They're a part of me. They're part of me. And I don't really want them to be a part of me. I don't want them to be a part of me. Would you agree with that? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Last time. So even though, even though these feelings are a part of me, these feelings are a part of me and it's my body speaking to me and it's my body speaking to me in a really strange way. I know 
in a really strange way, I know. They're a part of me. They're a part of me. And I'm okay. And I'm okay. All right, so you take two fingers, two or more fingers, and I used to have two because three's a bit too much. And what we're going to be doing, I need to take these off. Can't right. see a thing, but no matter. <laughs> and you just take two, and but you begin at the, the eyebrow, begin at the eyebrow, just where the hair starts, and just tap. You can feel the bone, yeah? Yeah. And then just repeat after me, these feelings in my body. These feelings in my body. And then go to the side of the eye, just right to the side. Not, not over in the temple, but right, right to the side. These feelings. These feelings. And then under your eye, just at the bone, at the top of your cheek, oh, yeah. these yeah, these feelings. These feelings. And then under your nose, these feelings. These feelings. To the chin, these feelings. These feelings. And then the collarbone, just tap, these feelings. These feelings. Under your arm, these feelings. And then to the top of your head, these feelings. These feelings. And then take a lovely deep breath in, breathing in and out. Now, I want you to home in on those feelings and I want you to tell me, have they moved? Yes. Yes, yes. I'm feeling much calmer, definitely. That's very short. Let, let's just finish that Ooh. off nicely by taking a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, allow those feelings to settle. And then for the last time, taking a lovely deep breath in, breathing in. And as you breathe out, allow those feelings to be at one with you. And if they want to move out of your body, that's okay. They're allowed. And open your eyes when you feel ready. Much lower down, if they're there at all. They're, they're, it was up here, and it's much lower down now. That's Definitely moved, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, by doing, I mean, they've, they've done, um, you know, on, on war veterans successful mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. And for yourself, if you are at home yourself, um, and if, you, if you're finding things really good, all you need to do is, you know, just tap there. You don't need to do the whole round. And you can go around and whinge and whine and, and shout and scream and everything at the same time as doing this instead of doing it without doing that. Mm. And it is working to help move mm. those blocked energies, those energies that we don't want. Oh, I like that. I'm very, yes, Ooh. that's 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 very nice. Um, as, as you know, and as some of the people who know who have been through this process, um, I asked you to fill in a questionnaire. Um, just so that I've got a little bit of background before we start the conversation. So one of the things that I um, kind of picked up on that you'd said was was about confidence coaching, which I was yeah. also interested in as well. So tell, tell me a little bit more about the, the confidence coaching. Yeah. Well, I call myself the awesome confidence coach. Um, and that was th through through Karen um, because yeah. we had to give ourselves a name and yes. stuff. And I came up with that and I thought, I don't be ridiculous. I thought, oh, excuse me, <laughs> we're all awesome, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and um, so that came about. Um, it, it is a series um, I will work through with people, but because I have experience and qualifications in so much, I actually found it really hard to think. Right, what am I going to do? Am I going to stick with hypnotherapy or with that? And I, I couldn't because I love them all. So I thought, right, well, confidence, because mm. confidence comes in so many different ways. And so if somebody comes to me for a confidence session um, or a course or some such, then I will use my intuition. I will feel what they what they need. Um, what would help them to be confident. So it's very much a one-on-one -on -one and there's no uh, whatever it says, you know, for one person. Mm. So that's what it is, yeah. Um, mm. And I'm doing Facebook Lives. And this is what my challenge next week, my five-day challenge, Facebook Live challenge is about. It's not just going on and carrying a video and, mm. and doing a video like this or a Facebook. When you see yourself when you feel yourself and you think oh my god i've done that yeah. you know it's yeah. whoa it's a fabulous feeling yes so that's yeah. 
Yeah, I mean that that's in a nutshell, that's my the awesome confidence coach. <laughs> I, I think I was at the boot camp when you first said it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good, uh, but and and it's memorable as well. And yes, I I know that we're all awesome, but um, we're all awesome in different ways. So that's your way for being awesome. So that's that's, that's absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah, and 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 Kat, I don't want to hear any buts there. Oh, we're all sorry, awesome. Did I say but? but yeah, we're awesome. Every single we're awesome. person is awesome. we are, and we're all yeah. awesome in different ways. So yeah. So um, I think that's that's it. Um, we'll we'll uh, we'll draw a close to it there, unless there's anything else you particularly want to share with us. Oh, um, I can go on forever. Well, I know exactly, and we could we could probably. Um, oh, I just want no, we don't we didn't talk about your challenges um, because uh, do we need to talk about your challenges? And you know, oh, I, I, I mean, I I think we I'd rather end on a more positive note, really. Um, yeah. You know, but you you've had some health challenges and. You've got, oh, my, my life challenges, you're, you're, yeah. yeah, yeah, but they, they have, you know, they <laughs> really have. Um, I've um, I've got two hip replacements, full hip replacements, yeah. Um, and this year, um, we are going to, I'm going to introduce, and I've said this for long enough, um, prantisize. Oh, yes, and that oh. is an, an exercise literally just prancing about, and it's, it's a bit like silent exercise, so my my point there is that even though you know yeah i mean i'm nearly 70 a couple of years time i'll be 70 but oh god this yeah but you see <laughs> no <thing> is, really <laughs> <laughs> but we, we we can do that it's, it's an attitude of mind yes yeah yeah, yeah 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 yes so yeah my hip replacements are just i just think of myself as a bionic woman absolutely absolutely so you set the sensors off at airports no Thank oh, God. Oh. I tell you what, when I first had my, my, my hip, I thought, oh, God, this is going to be awful. Um, but no, it's, I don't know what it is. It's just something that it's just not made from what, you know, yeah. what the oh, well, triggers good. off everything. Excellent. So. <laughs> know, but that's, the, but that's I, mean, I mean, and and that's the thing, though, isn't it? I mean, um, I would like to say a hip replacement's a, a fairly commonplace thing, but it's it is relatively, you know, yeah. um, these days it's a relative commonplace it thing. It is, it is, and it and it and it does seem to give people an entirely new lease of life as well, you know, because oh. you were you were in a lot of pain before you. I had, had a whole a whole yeah. year of yeah. chronic pain, and that was twenty four seven. It was just awful, um, and then yes, you know, the second that you have your operation, I mean, I'm in the recovery room actually how good it is it was up at the boys general in melrose and i'm talking to the guys who are looking after me we're talking about um dream control oh, oh. yes oh well we could have another hour on oh, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but that that's how how efficient they are now mm. when it comes to operations mm. um and like i said you know it's attitude of mind yes oh definitely my my sister who who we lost not last year the year before um she was a uh, she was a physiotherapist and uh, she used to be on call, you know, to get hip replacement patients out of bed. And if they'd had their operation in the morning, they were up in the afternoon walking. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yes. And the next day they're doing stairs, you know, I mean, there just was no, you, you well, you know what the physios are like. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yes, bless yes. her, my my dear departed sister. Yes, um, oh. but uh, yes, it's uh, and I had another friend. She had a sister who was a physiotherapist. She used to call her a physical terrorist. Um, <laughs> I like that. But yes, it is. It is. And, and I mean, I, just the same thing with even with childbirth. It used to be you lay in bed for fourteen days, didn't you? And oh, now, yeah, my mum did. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, my mom did, um, and um, I had a I had a section with my first child, and uh, I'm lying in bed the next morning thinking oh, I'm terrified to move, and the woman in the bed opposite who'd also had one, she just leapt out of bed and started. I was like, well, it's obviously possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that too. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, clearly, clearly, you're you're just meant to get up and get on with it. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's so much better for us as well. I know. To get up and, and moving. Yeah. I mean, it's it's when you see, um, if you ever watch any of these programs on television where they're doing surgery on animals and they do, they do things like knee replacements and hip replacements and all sorts of mm -hmm. things on animals now, don't they? And the animal doesn't know to be scared because that's all it is, is fear. You think, you think yeah. you're going to hurt yourself. Um, so they just get up. So they have to, they have to crate them, don't they, to stop them from just bounding around the room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, because they don't know. Uh -huh. They don't know. They're just like, oh, well, uh, oh, right, that's fixed. So they give them a new leg or something and they're just like, oh, well, I'm off. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay, it's been an absolute pleasure, as I knew it would be. I'm I'm so yeah. glad you agreed to do this because I knew it would be fun, um, yeah. and uh, hopefully everybody else has enjoyed it as much as we have. Because I I always enjoy these. I always have a I always have a great time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Oh, I will. Uh, I will hopefully come and reciprocate for you in the the now group. Um, and, yes, uh, I don't. I don't have you down actually. No, I don't think you do. I keep looking yeah. at it and just thinking I must contact you. So here we are. So get right. me in the schedule. And um, yes, if anybody, they have to be female though, don't they? If anybody's watching who wants to join Lindsay's group, if you've posted the link, have you or put? The, Not yet. Um, I will add that. Put the link for people to join Lindsay's group. And she also runs actual physical face-to-face -face people in a room networking as well in Edinburgh, which I yes. also haven't got to yet, but I will do. I will do. I will get to that as well. So thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, enjoy course. the rest of your day. And thank you to everybody who joined us. And uh, we'll see you all very soon. Okay. Bye-bye, okay, everyone. Bye. Bye. bye.